great ingredients prepared with love. A perfect combination like you and Pick and Pay. So Christmas is just around the corner. Michael Willie, he joins us in yeah. the studio to teach us how to make a Christmas cake that yes. your grandmother used to make yeah. for you. Absolutely. We used to do this um, every year. The traditional day for baking the Christmas pudding is what's called Stir Up Sunday. Stir Up Sunday. Christmas I've never pudding heard of that and before. Christmas cakes. It's, a, it's, in, it's in the Christian calendar. It's the it's Sunday last before Advent, which this year fell on the 20th of November. November. Yeah. Okay, and right. we've also got some questions coming through on our Facebook page, which we're going to answer. If you've got any Christmas cake related questions, or you'd like to mention if you've started planning your Christmas lunch, please let us know. Expresso Morning Show SABC3. Absolutely. Michael, what ingredients do you need? Well, what, what we're going to do is uh, over the next couple of weeks, we're going to treat this um, cake, feed it with some brandy so that it'll be ready just before Christmas, and we're going to give it away to one of our viewers. Oh, fabulous. Nice? So we're yeah. going to make a cake, and I'm going to do it with Michael, and you're going to have a chance to win the cake. We Make. Absolutely. But yeah. now, if people don't drink brandy, you don't have to. You don't. Drink absolutely with not. No. Um, the one thing that you can do is when you when you're um, soaking your fruit the night before, um, you can soak it in cranberry juice, um, and then instead of feeding the cake with brandy, you can feed it with cranberry juice, but then just keep it in the fridge. Whereas if you're feeding it with brandy, you don't need to because the brandy acts as a preservative. Okay. Let's so talk what we've got here is we've got a whole variety of fruits. We've got lovely golden sultanas from the Orange River. We've got raisins. We've got currants. We've got um, glacé cherries. Ooh, we've got a mixed peel. We've got candied pineapple. Mm -hmm. So that's all been soaking overnight in brandy. And then what we need to do is we need to line the cake tin. Okay. And what I've done is I've cut I a thought piece this of a Christmas hat for me. <laughs> I cut a piece of grease proof the mm -hmm. height of the tin and then cut these little steps on it. What's because, the steps for? Well because then it fits Oh that's so clever. Look at that. It fits easily into the into And have the you greased tin, you this pan? It, I've sprayed it with um, with um, cooking spray. Mm -hmm. And you'll see that it just it just sits in there perfectly. Look at that. And then we've got this little piece mm -hmm. which will pop in there. Like that. Okay. And then <clears throat> we'll just give it a quick spray Again. inside so that it's. Now, I must tell you, as a triathlete and as a cyclist, a lot of cyclists are getting very excited seeing this recipe because it's something that we have on race day. We have Christmas cake when we're racing, especially if we're doing Ironman or, or uh, any uh, pick and pay cycle race. Uh, oh, you know why? Because it's got it's rich in fruits, Absolutely. it's nuts. I normally make it without the sugar and I, I add honey, so I've got all the natural yeah, fruits and it just gets you going throughout the race. Absolutely. Now, what I'd like you to do is if you would take the flour mm -hmm. and then. How much just flour? all the flour that's mm -hmm. in there, pop it into the sieve, and then and then there's the spoon, and then just a, just a spoonful of each okay. of cloves. each of those. Cloves and ginger and nutmeg. Cloves, ginger and nutmeg. And my mom has got a great Christmas cake recipe. We always used to make it every year. And you're right, we did used to make it in November. Yeah, absolutely. And we'd freeze it for about six months. <laughs> And like you eat it very sparingly. Uh, and then we this morning we had a we had a request from yes. um, Annie about um, a, a non-fruited. She said, um, "I'm Christmas desperate. Cake. Yeah. My boss well, look, doesn't eat fruit, so what can she do?" Annie, there the are two things that I suggest it's you do. It's on the screen. She says, "Hi, all you crazy people. I desperately need cake recipe for Christmas with no fruit because my boss doesn't eat it. Please help." Right. <coughs> well, I think what you can do is you can do a chocolate log, which is a very <coughs> classical French and English um, yes. Christmas pudding. The French t tend to make a very soft sort of mousse-like cake, which they roll around cream, mm -hmm. um, and then the English make a sort of Swiss roll type chocolate yes. cake and then they, they ice it with butter icing. But Annie, I'll get a recipe to you we'll later on. We'll post it on our Facebook page, yes. Absolutely. Right, so here we've got... I'm just sifting this. Sifting quietly away there. Yes. And I'm just whisking the eggs here. Mm -hmm. And what we've done is we've, we've creamed the <coughs> butter and the sugar. Mm -hmm. uh, we did it before the program because they say that the machine makes too much noise. Yeah. But at home you'll do it with a machine. Absolutely. If you put if you put the almonds in there, just I push that through with your almonds. fingertips. Okay. And then there we go. Yep. And then you want to add the baking, the baking powder. powder in. Just pop that. Yeah, you can there do that. Go. Perfect. And then we can just stir it in. Mm-hmm. And you've just ground and the almonds. Yes. Why we why did we put it through the sieve, Michael? Well, you're sieving. What you're doing is you're, tr you're trying to get some air into the whole mm -hmm. into the whole mixture, and you want you want to mix everything together. So now now we've we're getting to the stage where we're making the cake. Okay. 
when people um, add egg to a mixture like this mm. butter and sugar, mm. um, it tends to curdle. So what I do is, that's perfect, that's okay, absolutely there we fine. Go. What I do is I um, add flour each with each addition. And now you've taken my spoon. I'm sorry, I'll Doesn't get you another no, one. <laughs> <laughs> you, want, you want to use, use the same one? one? Yeah. Okay, there we go. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of, of egg and a little bit of this flour mixture. And then we're just going to mix it together. That, okay. that little bit of flour just, just helps um, the, the mixture not to curdle. It doesn't really matter if it does curdle. Mm. But, but you can also mix this in the machine. You can mix yeah. it in the machine, yeah. Mm. Um, right, so this is, you can put some flour in there okay. for me. And we have a Just tradition in our house, uh, in our family. Every year, a different family member makes the cake for the entire family. So oh, each nice. one gets a cake. So. We used to, when we, the Christmas pudding, we, yes. we used to, um, my grandmother used to um, sterilize little silver tickies. My and, gran also yeah, used to, well, then, not the tickies, but. And then we used to, um, each, of us, each of us got a chance, a bit more flour. There we go. Each of us got a chance to uh, to stir one in and have a wish, oh, and then you wow. s you stir um, you stir one way and then you stir the other way. So it's but it's luck. nice to talk about these family traditions yeah, at this absolutely. time of year. What traditions, kitchen traditions, do you have at home? Let us know. Express our morning show SABC three. Right, let's have some more flour. Put another okay. one in. So you just mix it, yeah, vice just, versa, and absolutely, just really. Just to get the whole thing mixed mm. together. You, you, you see, it's not curdled, and it's a lovely batter there. Now we'll do the last little bit. Oh, I'm smelling the, the the gorgeous cinnamon and all the spices. Okay, Michael. Right. Now we're done here. And then <clears throat> what we do now is we. Happen some more. If you've got some more, yeah, I can yes. put the rest in now. There we go. Great. Right. And then what we do now is. We add this fruit mixture. This mm -hmm. has been soaking overnight in the brandy. But as we said, if you don't drink brandy, you can add uh, uh, apple cranberry, juice or cranberry juice, juice, apple juice, apricot juice. Absolutely. Michael, I know we're making this for a viewer, but we're running out of time. Oh, okay. Mm. All right. Well, what we need to do then is simply to add the ginger mm -hmm. and the orange and the lemon peel. Mm -hmm. And some whole almonds. So you're adding the whole almonds as well? Yeah, just like that. Right. Okay. That then gets gets mixed together, mm -hmm. popped into the tin. And this and, is what it will look and like. And this is one that I made yesterday. Wow, this is what you could be winning. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And then what we do is we take, if each week, let's put it down flat, yes. each week we just prick it with a skewer like this mm -hmm. and then pour some brandy over the top. And the brandy soaks down into the cake. And as we said, and you, that's all you, you, do? You, you can leave this outside, but if you use a fruit juice, you need, you need to, to put do it, it yeah. put it in the fridge. And then you just need to put some foil over the top and you're away. And what plate does it go on? It goes, it goes there, yeah. The new one, yeah. there we go. Um, and of course, if you're using fruit juice, then it moves up. It moves up here. So, and if yeah. you're using more expensive brandy, it moves down there. <laughs> <laughs> well, Michael, thank you so much that's for showing pleasure. us this great recipe. We're gonna catch up with you after this. Stay with Espresso and SABC3.